Gentlemen, this is Knack. We've got some replay from the first round of Alt June. That is the All League tournament coming at you right now. Um, I had to recast these because my fraps was not working the way that I wanted it to while we were live streaming. It was a kind of unfortunate situation, but I am excited to bring this replay to you guys. This is tons of fun to watch and a little bit about the players. Zergor, he played in our last tournament, the very first tournament we held. It was called the Tournament of Blades. Uh, really fun guy. He hangs out a lot, uh, is willing to play a lot of fun games, and is a, actually a pretty decent Zerg player. So uh, tons of fun there. Uh, high five to Zergcore. Glad to have you around, as usual. And we do have a newcomer, though, Allie. Newcomer to our tournament scene. Um, she brought, it looks like, I think at least two other people to this tournament. And she actually is a girl. I keep saying she, so you guys do need to understand that Allie is a woman. And she is all married, so don't get your hopes up that you'll find the perfect girl willing to play uh, StarCraft with you. She is currently taken, married to another player who is in this tournament as well. But tons of fun to have her around. We love having a, a female for a change. That's always a nice, a nice thing to do for us. And here we got Zergcore coming out across the map with six Zerglings and a statue. Haha. <laughs> the statue is already there in position. These Zerglings melting away very quickly to Allie's defending Zealots. Allie will be taking her assimilator here. Now this, you see that this uh, little blockade here, even though the Zealot is on a hold position, Zerglings can run right by in this little spot here or in this spot right here. And that is because there are two blocks here between the edge of this cliff and the gateway. As you're, When you're placing these gateways, you usually want to place it over one. So right here is where we, we've got it. What you really want to see is it placed right here instead. That way there's just this tiny little spot and you can put one Zealot on hold there and so that you can't have a Zergling run by. Here comes a lot more Zerglings from Zergcore. See, you can see them running by right there. I think Zergcore just felt like that was too many Zealots, I'm guessing, for him to run in there. But uh, he says four gate. It appears there are only three gates at this point and a very late cybernetic score. But Allie will be fixing and turning that into a four gate here, I assume, fairly shortly. She is supply blocked at this moment. Not a very fun situation to be in. But these zealots doing a pretty good job defending. She did get out plenty of zealots here at the beginning. Let's see if she's going to go straight for that warp gate technology. Hopefully she is. Not yet. She will be chroning boosting out more units. We've got a stalker and a zealot on the way. The stalker is going to be very helpful. Defending that ramp. Let's take a look at Zergcore's base here for a moment. We do have his Roach Warren up. We have some, a Spine Crawler in the main. Mineral line, one queen there for now, but it looks like Zergcore is going to be moving out here. I think he believes that that defenses will fall to a couple Roaches and some Zerglings, and he may be right. It may be that Ali is going to be in a little bit of trouble here. That is going to be quite a few Zerglings, especially when they can run by this group of Zealots here. I don't know, maybe. Maybe if this guy's on hold. Is he on hold? Yes, he is on hold. He, they may not be able to get in right now. This Zergling trying to get him to come down the ramp. All of those four Zealots here at the front are on hold position, so they are doing a pretty decent job of blocking that ramp right now, but these Roaches are what's going to be difficult. If he can run these Zerglings into the front and these Roaches do their damage from the back, especially if these Zealots stay on, on hold position, this will be... Very difficult, I think, for Allie to deal with. We will see if that is the case. No, these Zerglings really need to be getting in there, so a little bit of this micro there by Zerkor. Good job defending there by Allie. It looks as though Allie is going to be able to hold this off. <coughs> 
So well played there. Nice to keep those. It's, it's hard to keep your zealots on hold position, but that's what you got to do if you don't want zerglings running around the rest of your army. So very good play there by Ali. That is what we like to see. Now she's chrono boosting out that warp gate technology, getting her fourth gate down, and it appears that we are going to go for a Twilight Council. Wonder if she's going to use that for tech, or if she's going to go probably straight for Zealot Legs or Blink. We will see what she has in store for us. One sentry on the field should be pretty good if she can get a good split on this ramp for defenses. Zerkor now taking his expansion. Let's take a look. At the units tab, what do we have here? Pretty even numbers for the harvester count. And Sturcor still on one gas. Be moving the spine crawler around, get him into a slightly better position. And Allie taking her expansion as well. So pretty good timing there by Allie. She's got pretty solid defenses there at this point. Four warp gates up and running. See if she's going to go straight for an upgrade here. Not quite yet, doesn't look like. Oh, there we go. What do we get? Zealot legs. All right. So charge makes those uh, zealots quite effective. And she does have plenty of zealots in this mix right now, so this army will be fairly scary. She's going to need to get that upgrade out here fairly soon and stay on top of of uh, macroing her army and look at this Zergcore taking another base got his third base going down right now that is two expansions for Zergcore transferring some drones down here to his natural which is now completed gonna be moving the spine crawler down as well for static defense great place to keep it keeps uh, stuff that wants to run up your ramp in the danger zone and it makes it relatively easy for you to defend your natural as well so good positioning there, I would say, by Zergcore. Ali's expansion now up and running. We do not have a probe transfer as of yet, and she is getting just a little bit behind in the probe count. She needs to stay up with that just a little. Keep a, keep on rolling. You always got to be pressing E when you're playing Protoss. And these Zerglings, Speedlings now, going to be just a little bit pesky. Getting burned away by that very large army of Ali's. Zergcore now getting weapon, missile attacks level 1, so it appears that he's going to be sticking with Roach play for now. Maybe teching towards Hydralisks. Hydralisks would be a pretty good choice, I think, in this scenario. They are very, very good at taking out all of the gateway units, which Allie is sticking to at this moment. Let's see what we've got going. That is about it. Yep, she is going to be sticking with gateway units. Um, now that Allie is on two base, though, I would like to see her building some more unit producing structure. There goes a robotics facility. So... From that, we'd like to see some Immortals. The Immortals are fairly effective against the Roaches. Unfortunately for Ali, she is playing a little bit blind at this point. Um, doesn't really quite know what her opponent is is teching to and what she's doing, what he is doing rather. But uh, you know, from that last attack, she can guess that Roaches are going to be in the in the mix. So teching to Immortals is not a bad idea. Mortals are very, very effective at killing roaches. Here come some more Zerglings. They are going to be running here, see what they can see. They're going to melt away to that army very, very quickly. And Zealot Charge is up and running. Out comes an Observer right away, so very good play here. She's going to go tr try and figure out what's going on in her opponent's base. And right now, I mean, the supply counts are fairly even. Actually, they're identical, so that's always good. But she is down one base right now, which is always an okay position to be in in a Protoss for Zerg. As long as you can stay one base behind your Zerg opponent, usually as Protoss, you can kind of make it happen. All right, double forges for Allie. We are going to see some upgrades coming for Allie. That will be very, very good. Those units definitely need some upgrades, but at this point, I think she's still just a little bit behind in the unit producing structures. Four warp gates and one robotics facility, not quite enough. When your opponent is playing Zerg, you are on two base, and they have a queen at every single base. So Zerkor saturating his third base now fairly well. 
We do have uh, Carapus level 1 almost completed. Should be done here in just a moment. And we don't have the roach speed on the way yet, but I kind of half expect that to be the case. That is quite a few roaches. Uh, so Zerkor macroing up his army here very, very well. Is going to be in pretty, pretty large roach numbers here fairly soon. Let's see what we've got. Double upgrades being chrono boosted out for Alley. These are going to be very, very useful. I'd still like to see a couple more warp gates from Alley. And here comes some immortals. So that's good. How many sentries do we have in this army? It looks like six sentries. And a lot of them are getting pretty high. Some of them have, have full energy, so there will be a lot of force fields. I think this, because Zerkor is choosing to just max this army, it looks like he's going to get a lot of roaches, probably be able to attack here fairly soon. And Ali is definitely going to be behind in the army. Uh, so it will come down to force fields, I believe, for Ali at this point. If you can get some good force fields down, you can really change the direction of a Zerg attack. <coughs> Especially since we do not have Burrow out for Zerkor as of yet. And look at this, we've got Missile Attacks level 2 on the way. And here's the Roach Speed, so very, very good uh, tech upgrades here for Zerkor. These Roaches are going to be super effective now. He has got quite a few of them. Look at the Units tab. 42 Roaches on the field right now. And, and look at this, though. Allie's staying in the probe count, so she's not doing too bad off two base. Uh, let's see what we've got, though. She does have a lot of minerals kind of laying around. I would like to see a little bit better management of these minerals. Uh, that w I mean, it's kind of hard to do when you've only got four warp gates on the map. You really need to kind of build, geez, I would say probably four more, or at least two more. Um, six warp gates and uh, maybe a couple robotics if that's what you're going to go. And... That zealot just getting uh, wasted there. I think she thought that it was a changeling. Because she just killed a changeling right there. And that one didn't move with the army, so she just blasted it away. Just in case. Always good to be safe. <laughs> but you don't want to kill too many zealots of your own. So this is not a bad looking army. I think really... Oh my goodness though. Look at this. Zerkor is nearly maxed out. Supply blocked right now at 190 supply. And so he will be max, maxing out this army. We let's ex probably expect him to be moving out across the map with, oh my goodness, a lot of roaches. That is 60 roaches on the field right now. So yes, I think we're going to see an attack from Zerkor, and this is definitely going to be bad news for Ali. She's going to need to have some very clutch force fields to hold this off, and some pretty good micro. And the trouble for Ali is that she just is not managing those resources well enough. I mean, that is a lot of units that she could have built right there a lot and all she needs is a couple more gateways and she'd be able to max out an army off two bases as well now she's going for this gold expansion which mm, this is not the greatest choice I don't think especially since this is being scouted of course I guess she doesn't know that but I think I probably would have picked this location instead um, especially when you don't know exactly what your opponent is doing if she'd send a scout over there, she'd probably notice that this is a maxed out army. We've got five infestors in the mix here, and a whole lot of roaches. That's 64 roaches, and we, let's see, we've got plus two, plus one for the roaches. Uh-oh, oh, here we go. Zerkor is going to be moving out right now. He's moving out. It looks like he's going to take out this expansion first. Yes, he is going to be blasting this expansion away. Look at all those roaches. Yeah, this is definitely bad news for Ali. She's going to need to get in a lot more units here very, very quickly. She's definitely not low on resources, though, so she should be able to do this. Let's see what she can do. It's gonna, oh, no, we want to see force fields. We want to see force fields from these sentries. I mean, the Guardian Shield is not the worst choice in this situation, but you know what? Force fields, a lot more clutch force fields, I think, would have done a lot better. It looks like Ali's army is in a lot of trouble here. Zerkor keeping a very, very high count here. He is bringing, morphing in more units as we speak. It looks like he is going to be backing out here. 
Oh wow, so Ali doing quite a bit of damage. The trouble is is that Zergcore is had a lot of minerals saved up and a lot and lot of of uh of larva. And look at this army he's been able to macro back up. He is back up to 144 supply. It looks like he's backing out here as fast as he can. These infestors actually not being used at all. I didn't see any fungal growths go down or any infested Terran, but oh my goodness, now he's got plenty more roaches on the field. These stalkers getting caught a little bit out of uh, position there. And oh my goodness, Ali's army definitely going to be going down here. It looks like Zerkor is going to be in great position to push this attack back to Ali's base. I would expect to see him, as soon as he cleans up these immortals, to be moving his army clear back over to Ali's side. Let's take a look. This immortal definitely going to be going down. Let's take a look and see what Ali has in the way of defenses. And not very much. She's got four stalkers on the low ground right now. One immortal on the way. We are getting a uh, plus three, plus three, but it might be too little too late. You just got to have the numbers, especially when those roaches get in, in these high of a number. I mean, how many does he have? 28 roaches moving out across the field right now. Some of them are back here. It's not going to matter, though. I'd say that probably at this point... Ali is going to be in a tough position to hold this off. Zerkor going to be in great position to take a game. Game number one from Ali, and we will be going to game number two. This is a best of three. Let's see what we've got here. Get some zealots in on the flank. It's not a bad play. Oh, I would like to see just a little bit of micro with these stalkers. Kind of kite them back a little bit. Would have served Ali, I think, just a little bit better. And this army melting away. We do have one immortal. And this guy is going to get basically surrounded here on the ramp. And down he goes. We do have some more stalkers warping in on the high ground. Just does not look like it's going to be enough. This investor not doing a dang thing. He's just kind of sitting around. But you know what? At this point, Zerkor does not need any investors. He's going to be able to take this win, I believe, with just roaches. Now that he's got plus two, plus two on the roaches, these roaches are very scary. And even though Ali has got plus three, plus three, it is not going to matter. There are way too many roaches in the base. She does not have enough unit producing structures. And those guys definitely out of the game. And that will be it for Ali. I would half expect a GG here at any moment. This is way too many roaches to hold off at this point. There's the GG from Ali. Very good game. Well played on Zerg Core's part. We will be going into game number two, so come check that one out. We'll see you guys next time.